So Mark says, as we are all now at this present time connecting virtually where communication cues are flattened, disembodied and muted, with many of us looking at our own image for the duration of our calls, um, do you think these conditions and this medium is more appealing to the left hemisphere than the right or is this an oversimplification? Um, I mean, there's a, there's a certain degree of truth in it, in, in the sense that, for example, the left hemisphere is less at home in an embodied sense. It reads the physical material, as it were, the, 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 the little signs that would be present if we were all together in the same room um, less well. Um, and it actually literally flattens space. So it sees um, space in a two-dimensional way. The three-dimensionality comes from... Um, or at least the ability to understand space in three dimensions and to draw it in three dimensions and to experience it in three dimensions comes more from the right hemisphere than from the left. So in a world where we are separated, we can't pick up the finer, subtler um, embodied messages which are so important in communication and where everything is flat and as you say, we're staring at ourselves. This replicates to us the worst aspects of the left hemisphere's take on the world and helps to reinforce it. And I, I must say that I've done a lot of talks since the beginning of COVID, but much as I have benefited from not having to travel, and no doubt the environment has benefited from my not traveling, I find it a, a slightly less satisfactory experience because I love to be in the room to see people's faces, to get an immediate response, to be able to hear people laugh, um, to be able to see signs of restlessness, to be able to be there in the same room with people. So there we are, yeah. <laughs>